Hi, I'm going to try to document how I would stretch a piece of 300 pound cold press arches bright white watercolor paper. And yes, 300 pound, and yes, I'm stretching it, which um, is because I really like to do wet, watery things, and even with 300 pound, it buckles too much if I don't. Um, so I've had this soaking in a, a plastic bin for, oh, I don't know, eight, eight to ten minutes or so. Usually I do it in the bathtub. Um, but I'm just going to try to lay it, center it on this board. It may take a couple times. Easiest way to is to sort of pick up and because if it's sitting flat, on the uh, support board and it doesn't really want to move around that much. So what I'm going to do is get my staple gun and I'm going to put one staple right about there. I'm going to stretch this corner out a little bit. Put one there and there. I stretch this one out a little bit. Put one there and there. I've seen there's all sorts of ways of of doing this and sort of sequences of which corner, which side to do, when, and how far apart. And... But I feel, I feel like if I sort of have that set up down there, and I'm really sort of pulling and trying to, to stretch the paper, I'm going to put one there. In this case, I put two there. But I'm going to stretch this corner both this way and this way. Do that and then this corner. Pulling this way and this way, just always pulling out outward, and trying to keep it sort of low to to the support board. If I if I pull up too much, it, it'll pull out staples, possibly on on the opposite side. Perhaps I should have thought this through more, but um, <laughs> oftentimes I'll I'll do this side first. Mostly the point is to just get it soaked in water so it's in a, an expanded state. Adhere it in that expanded state while it's still wet. And then when it dries, it will tighten up. And then it'll be nice and tight even when I'm painting, even if I wash a watercolor all over it. I wonder how much of that was not in the Either way, I'm stapling um, 
you know, about that far apart. If I was stapling into um, wood, I might not need this many. The gator board, though, I will say it, it puts up with a lot of stapling and still works fine. But just in general, I find to keep things tight. It takes a few more. Possible, I'm going to run out of staples here. I think that's fine. So, even as it's drying, you will see it begin to buckle a little bit here and there and that's just that's it drying drying more in some places than other and then eventually as the the whole thing dries it will dry nice and tight um the other thing i was going to say is i usually transfer my drawing before onto my watercolor paper before i stretch it out um for various reasons that was not how I chose to to do this one so I will transfer a drawing to this eventually and then uh, paint and have watercolory fun there you have it <laughs>